my fondest memory. You didn't know my dad, did ya? Nah. Do you want to know how I know? Because he used the word fond to describe memory I might have of him. <laughs> nah. He was alright in the end, as a whole. He had a few issues, you know. Good human behaviour, empathy, all the usual desirables, but, you know, he was my dad. He was a great footy player, though. Absolutely unreal. I don't know why that stuck out. No. Tell a lie, I do. I remember. We went down this park one day, all of us. It was sunny. We might have had a picnic or something. I don't know. There was some occasion. Either way, we was there. And I found this ball. The shitty old football in a bush or a ditch or something. That's the thing with kids. They find anything. Like, if you were in a park and you've lost something, like a penny, a football, a fucking dog, whatever. Some kids will find it. Guarantee. She's getting working for the police. Sniffer toddlers. Oh, that's an idea, isn't it? Hmm. Oh, anyway, so I found this ball. This ball in the ditch. And I remember I kicked it at my dad. Maybe for a laugh or something. Maybe as an attack. I can't remember. Either way, I did. First mistake. See, my dad was wearing his wear clothes. This weird shirt looked like a school shirt and these horrendous weird coloured trousers. He looked like um, <laughs> Homer Simpson or Peter Griffin. You know, one of those men who wear the same clothes every single day. Anyways, you've probably guessed this ditch residing ball had a little bit of mud on it. So, of course, when I kicked it, it went splat all over my dad's shirt. Now, when my dad gets angry, he, like, proper shouts or... At least when he got angry, he, um, he, he used to shout. Normal thing, and you'd, you'd shit yourself, like, but when he got furious, proper, you know, fuming, he'd go silent, fucking deathly silent, and... When that mud hit that shit, there was silence. So, of course, <laughs> I just fucking liked it down the park. I was not hanging around for that. And what my dad did was, well, I didn't actually see this, but this is what my brother told me was, he took the ball, he lined it up and everything, and he booted it. Well, making a sound. Proper, like, terminator shit. Now, I was a while away now. I'd, you know, proper legged it. So, I turned around to see if he was chasing me or something. Ball hit me straight in the fucking eye. I couldn't see for a week. I thought I was going to die. I mean, I didn't know. You know, I'm, I'm here. Yeah, um, I'm here. So, there's a memory for you. I don't know if it's fun, but... You know, it was... Uh, it was my dad. In one word? Did, <laughs> did you come up with these questions? Mum did. Well, okay, well, I mean... <sighs> Christ. Sum up your dad in one word. I, it's a classic, I mean, but, like... One word. I can't swear, can I? Oh, I can. Wow, you haven't done my sister, have you? <laughs> you doing it next? Good luck. She swears way too much. Irritating, really. Whoever the fuck she got it from, I don't know. You should probably tell her that... Anyway, sorry, yeah, one word. Clueless? Yeah. Well, I mean, like, can I add two words in brackets? Clueless with people.
Yeah. Uh, especially himself, I think, looking back. I don't think he ever <laughs> realised how, how to be. You know, like, be a dad, be a husband, be a, a fucking working person, you know? Not that it was like this Frankenstein thing. It wasn't, it was... It, it, it just... It wasn't that he didn't have a choice. It's what I'm... That's what I'm trying to say. He had us, he, he had mum, you know. If he wanted it, he could have been less clueless. He could have, you know, he could have, but he didn't, he wasn't. Look. When 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 you speak to Liz, she, she was she's gonna try and make him out as this monster or something, and you know I I wasn't there near the end, yeah, and I went away to uni and that I I can admit that and she's, <laughs> she's probably still bitter about that. I don't know. I hope not, but <laughs> that's what she'll do. I painted this picture of like Martin the Terrible, you know. He wasn't. He wasn't. He wasn't a monster. <laughs> he was just a dickhead. How much? Um, well, I definitely am going to miss him, but I think we all will. I mean, to us, you know, he was getting to that stage where he was almost becoming part of the furniture in, in that nice way, obviously. Yeah, we really wanted to put his name on the chair, you know. No. Yeah. Sorry. Um, you see, I I work in the local. Yeah, I probably should have said that in the introduction, but also then, you know, I feel like some sort of long lost brother of his is gonna come to the funeral and be like, "Who the fuck is this woman?" You know, I didn't realize our Michael was active. Sorry. That was weird for me I mean it wouldn't be weird for him to be active I just mean it wasn't necessarily my type and if you knew yeah sorry I'll stop totally inappropriate but yeah yeah we are going to miss him you know for us he'd come to the pub every other night sit in the same seat same corner same bloody drink. You know, it got to a point where he didn't even need to order it in the end. He'd just walk in and you'd know to pour him a Guinness. Yeah. That same drink. Same company too. Michael. I hope he's okay. He must be so... So torn up inside. I think him and Michael got quite close actually, yeah, you know he was one of those lads who always says his please and thank yous, yeah, he's a nice lad. It's just, you know, so sad really, it's really sad. When you think about it like that. I mean, obviously it's sad anyway. 
you know, when someone when someone passes away so so suddenly. But when you think about it, it's almost like he'd only just found someone really. You know, he lived on his own. In the pub every other night. I don't know. I feel like when two lonely people finally find each other, they become friends and they get closer. It's almost like they're not really lonely anymore. Poor Michael as well. I really, really hope he's all right. But yeah, I definitely am going to miss him. But I know there are people who are going to miss him more. People who will miss him a lot more. So, um, is that the last one or, yeah? Yeah, no worries. Right, thank you. Um, okay, uh, introduce myself. Yeah, uh, so, well, my name's, my name's Michael. I was a, um, I was a good friend of Martin. What was my was my first impression of Martin? Uh, so he was um he was sitting on his own um, in this in this pub that apparently he used to he used to go to every night and and I, I was just in there um I'm not a, I'm not a regular or anything I just. I just fancy to drink, so I um, went up to the bar and didn't didn't know what to have. So this <laughs> this barmaid, that's she's she's taking me through everything. This this friendly girl and red hair and and then <laughs> any anyway. So she's so she's taking me she's taking me through all these all these spirits and I end up I end up looking next to me and there. Uh, And Martin was there, and he had a he had a Guinness. So I so I asked him what it was like, and uh, and he said it was it was Irish. So I so I said I'd have one of those, and and that was that was how we met. You know, we just just got uh, just got talking after that. The um. He seemed he he seemed like he he seemed like one of those one of those poets, you know. You know, he, 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 but he wasn't a poet. I, I think he played the ukulele, but the no poetry. Um, he just. It's just uh <clears throat> you seem like one of those guys who you look at and you think and you think lonely but like but th but they know it, but they know it <laughs> I'm sorry none of that. Well, that makes sense, did it? Um, to to put it in English, it it seemed like he wanted a friend, but 
but it'd be the Ross one. If that makes if that makes any more sense. I, I don't know. I don't know. It's just it, it's hard for me to um, it's hard for me to think back now. So I think so when, to when I first when I first met Martin. Because, you know, um, my feelings towards him changed. No, we, um, we, uh, we got closer. I guess uh, I guess the one the one thing about him which never changed the the one thought that I had was that you always seem lonely. You know, I didn't I didn't think he had anyone. And I, and I didn't. I didn't feel. I didn't feel sorry for him or anything. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't pity. I, I wanted. I wanted to help him. Like um. No one should have no one. Not someone like him. Not him. Uh, what? Sorry, what? What do you mean? He was. He was married. He, he he wasn't he wasn't married he and he <laughs> he definitely didn't have a, he didn't definitely didn't have a kid I'm, he would he would have he would have told me he, he no he he wasn't he wasn't married I'm no I'm 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 sorry but I'm I'm sorry hello welcome to the Ross Hall I hope you're all keeping well staying busy in these um confusing times. Um, as you can see, um, unfortunately, Martin's wife, Janet, was unable to conduct an interview, um, but she has instructed that this letter, which I have here, is to be read on her behalf in its entirety. Um, I haven't seen the contents of it, and uh, neither has anyone else. So. Um, dear all, first of all, I apologise for being unable to record an interview of my own. I know it must seem hypocritical of me, what with you all being so gracious as to do it per my request and answer the questions I asked you. Apologies, I'm afraid it cannot be helped. But thank you all. However, I'm afraid I have some news as well as thank yous. Um, Kids, I'm sorry you had to find out this way. For um, for the last few months of our marriage, Martin had Martin had been having an affair with. Um, The young man by the name of by the name of Michael Bennett. They would meet every other night in the Black Horse pub and occasionally in hotels. 
Martin told me this himself after I questioned him one night. He said that he had not been working late and that he um, that he just didn't feel any any love for me anymore. I wasn't sure if he if he ever did. I'm um, I'm sorry for telling you all in this manner. And I'm sorry for what I for what I did. But I hope now you understand why I hope you now understand why, why he had to die. Can you turn the camera off, please? Turn it off. Turn